Toy Poloi, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a toy restorer who does not exist. Toy Poloi, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the broken, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of collectors who operate above the law. Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now if you collect Star Wars figures you'll know that one figure that generally has his cape missing is this vintage Star Wars Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. Uh, and it's one of the ones I get asked most often to show how to make a replacement cape for. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, the first thing we need to do though is actually to work out how to sort of make a pattern for this Jedi cape. Because some of the capes I've shown you previously are just a flat piece of fabric then folded over with a tiny bit of sewing. But this has quite a lot more going on. To it because we have this separate little hood that has to go over the top of Luke's head and we need to work out how that is attached and how the basic shape of the cape goes to make everything fit together. So we'll do that first and then we'll make the cape. Now the process of uh, working out how to make this cape is actually a pretty slow one so I've already done this off camera and it took me a couple of hours and a couple of sort of prototype goes but generally I work by turning the cape inside out so that you can see roughly what shape it is. And then we'll draw this onto some uh, sort of squared paper. I can show you my first rough, which was this one. Uh, now this was a sort of a best guess. So I sort of laid it down and worked out some curves and that folded it over and made a cape. And I ended up with this, which was not too bad, but not quite right. So I sort of fine tuned this version of my cape pattern and then ended up with this, which is the sort of second stage. So you can see I've changed quite a lot of it. The top is now no longer flat and it's, uh, it's got some extra details added onto it and it's slightly bigger. And from this one, I've also had to make the little uh, hood piece as well. I made a second cape, which was this. And this is a lot better and a lot closer to the original. So once I've finally got a pattern that I'm happy with, I take that into Photoshop and work it up so that I end up with a nice neat pattern and one that I can also give to uh, my followers so that they can copy it and sort of make their own cape. So let's have a look at how I go about turning this into a nice neat Photoshop file that everyone can use. And here we go, and here's a printout of that final cape. So you can see it's gone from this sort of messy sketch and sort of roughs of me working out to a nice neat thing that is fairly easy to understand. And this is what we're gonna to use to make the cape. And I'll show you exactly how you need to cut it and sort of sew it together. The main problem when making this cape is actually finding a good material to use. And I've been hunting down for a good material for years for this, and I finally found it and I have it here. It turns out that the sort of material they use, it's actually called toy knit. Uh, and it's a very sort of, 
uh, nylon-y sort of polyester, I suppose, uh, fabric with a little bit of a sort of uh, fluffy surface to it on one side. And on the other side, you can see it has these sort of lines. And that is exactly the same as the original sort of Star Wars material that they use. Now, I've not been able to find this online. I actually found this at a fabric store. So I would say if you want to find your own, just keep asking at fabric stores. And let's see if they have some toy in it. I've managed to buy this in a few colours. And this is the closest shade of brown uh, to the original Luke cape. You can see it's a little bit lighter. But uh, I'm sort of happy with that because it's actually the sort of the finish that I wanted. And I think by the time it's on the figure, you don't really notice the fact it's a little bit lighter. So we're going to be using this toy knit to make the cape. So I'm going to uh, first off cut this pattern out and then we can pin it onto some of this material and we'll cut out the shapes and get sewing. So I've now cut out my pattern. I've got a small amount of the toy knit fabric here. And uh, you'll notice when I cut the pattern out, the gray lines that are around the edge, you actually have to remove all of those. All you want is the white inner piece and that gives you the exact size of uh, this Jedi cape. Now you can see here on the original cape that the fabric, the lines of the fabric are running sort of horizontally across the cape. So we're gonna do exactly the same on this. You can see this fabric also has lines going horizontally. So I'm going to lay that down so that I know exactly which way they're going and I'm gonna drop my pattern on make sure that it's sort of lined up with those lines. And I'm gonna use a couple of pins just to pin it in place and then we'll cut round it. Previously, I've used sort of double-sided tape to stick this on and that would work as well. But I thought today I would try and do it the proper way and use pins instead because uh, I'm trying to improve my sewing skills. Although I have to say they're not improving greatly, but uh, it's always worth having a try when you're doing something new. So there we have the pattern laid out and I'm now going to cut around this uh, just with a normal pair of scissors and it should be fairly straightforward to do and we'll then have uh, everything we need to sort of start getting this cape together. There we go, I think that looks pretty reasonable. We'll do the same for the tiny little piece of the hood. And again, this sort of runs with the lines going horizontally to the uh, sort of main part of this. So I'll just find a small piece that's good enough for that, which should be there. And again, I'm just gonna take one pin and pin that and uh, get that piece cut. Now we're going to start by sewing the hood first and I have some thread here which is a close match to the uh, fabric that I'm using so always pick a thread that's a good match to the colour that you're using and you can see on the pattern here it gives you some indication the dotted line is where we need to sew and you, you actually have to fold this in half because uh, that's how we make the hood and we're going to fold it in half with the nice outside bit on the inside so this is an inside out bit of sewing so we can turn that over like that you can see that matches the pattern and then we need to sew along a line a few millimeters in from the back side of the uh, hood and that that will give us the right shape so i'm going to just start sewing here you can see that matches roughly where i've got it marked on the pattern there for you make sure the thread goes in nice and neatly so we can just start sewing along and make the hood it's the easiest bit of this whole process So there's that little bit so long we can just turn that inside out and you can see we've ended up with the hood part to go on the cape i'm just going to use my scissors just to push that little corner piece out there we go that does look like the hood now we can move on to the main part of the cape which is certainly a lot trickier than that now the extra lines on this uh, pattern will become apparent as to what they're for because what we're going to do is fold along those two lines that are on either side and we're going to fold the other one there 
and this will give you a guide as to what the cape should look like when you come to sew it. So if you turn it over you can see we have uh, two flaps that sort of wrap around each other and that's uh, exactly how it is on uh, Luke's cape and then these little indicators here show where you need to sew. So we're going to take the cape pattern here and we make sure the nice part of the fabric is on the inside and we're going to fold it to match that so you can just use this as a little guide so you can see roughly where you need to fold everything for it to work. So if I fold that over like that, and then we can fold that one over like that, it will give us the right sort of shape. And this is the good starting point. If you get this bit right, then everything else should just sort of fall into place. Uh, and that's why I've made this pattern like that. It's uh, not the easiest thing to explain, but uh, you'll see it when we start going. So now we can start doing the first bits of sewing and we're gonna do these two shoulders. And that's why you've got these little curved lines. Don't follow the edge of the fabric follow where these lines should go and you will get something that works. So again I have a needle and thread here with the same sort of thread on it that will match this fabric and I'm just going to start by uh, doing one of these shoulders. In fact I will do both of them and then we can get on to the next stage. I'm just going to sort of follow that pattern. You can see we need to start about sort of down here. It's not exact how this needs to be done but to, as long as you're sort of close it will work. There we go, we'll just start sewing. And there we go, that's the first part done. If we just turn this inside out, you'll get an idea for how the cape will start to look. And it will look a little bit like this. So you've got some little curved shoulders and those should fit neatly over Luke's shoulders. So that by the time we put the hood on, it will actually look like his original cape. The next stage is another tricky one. Now we've got both shoulder pieces done. We need to take the little hood that we've made and where we've got a seam down the back, we've turned this inside out. We need to line that seam up exactly in the middle of uh, the main part of the cape. And then we're gonna start sewing around. And what we're gonna do is sew one side around. So you sort of have to open this cape up a little bit. We've gotta sew that around this piece and then we'll come back this side and we'll sew around this piece. And we should end up with something that looks like the original cape. So let's get sewing. So you can see I've sewed one side I'm going to just turn this around and we'll sew the other side and then we can sew the front part together to make the full cape. And before we get to the end, we can now join these two pieces back together. So you have to sort of fold uh, the hood inside and we can fold these two pieces just slightly over the top of each other, the main part of the cape, and we can then sew those two together and that will give us the final look of the cape. So I'm just going to stick the needle through there. We'll go back a few times and that should give us the cape look that we're after. Now that it's all sewn, we can uh, turn this inside out and try it on the figure. So you can see as we turn it inside out, you start to get the look of the original cape. We can just sort of rearrange some of these shoulders so then a little bit rounder. That's the idea for doing the curved stitching. Let's drop this over the top of a Luke Jedi figure. And there you go. You can see that is not a bad result. That's uh, as good as I think I'm going to be able to get it. The, last bit of sewing is fairly tricky but uh, I'm sure someone with a better sewing skills than me should be able to do that a lot neater but I think 
that is quite an acceptable result for a Luke GNI cape. Let's compare that to the original. And here we go, this is the original cape on the left and this is the one that I've just made using the uh, pattern that I've designed. And you can see that's a pretty good match. I think uh, really what lets it down is my sewing skills. I'm not particularly good at sewing but I think the overall effect is actually pretty reasonable. I've made a couple more of these off screen and they've got slightly better as I go so uh, it certainly does take a little bit of practice and finding the right material is really the key and sort of piece that you need to do. You can see this fabric is a pretty close match and uh, you end up with something that looks quite good. By the time this has uh, worn in a little bit you can see obviously the original uh, capes have had uh, 30 years of wear to them so they sort of get a little bit frayed around the edges and sort of have a nice bit of hang to them. Uh, this is obviously brand new material so I think if I'm going to rough this up a little bit it will start to look a little bit more sort of in keeping with the figure but overall I'm really pleased with how that's worked. It's not the simplest of capes so I would say if you want to do this yourself and uh, do be prepared to have a little bit of a sort of challenge. Uh, sometimes it won't work and sometimes you'll get through Things wrong. I'll show you some of the other ones that I've worked on. You can see this one uh, was a, an early attempt and I ended up with the hood too small. If I take that off that figure you can see if I put this one on uh, the hood I didn't put enough fabric in or if I sort of sewn it too taut so you can see that's actually a sort of tighter fit to the head. Some people may prefer that but that's not how the original figure looks so I sort of gave up on that one. And I have another one which I think is this one where I've put too much fabric in and you can see that the hood sticks up a long way so uh, there's a sort of subtleties to everything that you do so do but bear in mind you will have to do a little bit of sort of practice toing and throwing with these till you get one that uh, looks the, the way you want it. I think I'm, this last one I've done I'm pretty pleased with. If you want to have a go at making this cape yourself then I will put the pattern available on toyploy.com and I have covered Luke Skywalker before in a previous Fix It guide about touching up the uh, paint chips that always happen to his nose. So I'll put a link to that in the description uh, so if you need to do any paint touch-ups on your figure check out that video. It's a pretty short video because really this Luke Skywalker has very little paint application on him and it's a really simple thing to do but uh, it's still worth checking out. So as I say have a go at making your own cape. The pattern is available on toyploy.com I hope you found this video enjoyable and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.